And so you become a beragi as you realize that this world is false. And you fall out of love of this world. As you feel truly in love, this is what it means to be in beragi. It's the highest state of love. There's only one place for me to place my head. There's only one table that I want to sit at. And that is the house of my husband, Lord, my Guru Maharaj. How can you be involved in an accident and you leave that place like, and you feel like you've won the lottery? Because when you meet the Gurmukhs, that's how it should be. That's standard. When you come in the company of the Sangat, you know that if you have connected, that you've met God. Their beloved Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj and their wife in the Jorekar, cleaning the shoes of the Sangat. You're falling into difficulties on my path. It is not even your steps to take when we take a step toward the Guru and the Guru is there. Tanna per ehen aakhiyan Behen ikathe hoye Ek jyot doi murti Tanna per kehiye soye Tanna per ehen aakhiyan बहन इकट्ठे होए एक ज्योत दो ही मूर्ति तन पर कहिए सोए सतनाम श्री वाहे गुरु हारे तीजड़ी लाभ मन चाओ पया बैरागिया बल राम जियो संत जना हर मेल हर पाया वड पागिया बल राम जियो निर्मल हर पाया हर गुण गाया मुख बोली हर बाणी संत जना वड भागी पाया हर कथिया अकथ कहानी हृदय हर 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 तुन उपजी हर जपिया मस्तक पाग जियो जन नानक बोले तीजी लावे हर उपजै मन बैराग जियो हृदय हर 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 तुन उपजी हर जपिया मस्तक पाग जियो जन नानक बोले तीजी लावे हर उपजै मन बैराग जियो हर तीजड़ी लाभ मन चाओ पया बैरागिया बल राम जियो वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह परम सत्कार योग Guru Khalsa Saad Sangha Ji We're all blessed to be in the company of Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj today In their 11th and their eternal form Sahib Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj As we undertake the journey of discovery As we undertake the journey of coming to understand The path of true love the path that we must all walk as soul brides as we look to truly find our husband lord and guru sahib in their infinite merciful kindness have brought us now to the third stage yesterday we spoke of the second stage shubhavicharana guru maharaj explained to us and just a very quick summary har dujri lav sat guru purukh malaya balaram jiyo guru maharaj explained to us that to be in the company of the guru is by 
the cosmic planning, the divine intervention of Akal Purak, that Waheguru themselves have personally arranged our affairs to allow us to be in the company of the Guru, Sadhguru Puruk Malaya Balaramji, that one to whom we should be a sacrifice. Nirapo Pe Manhoe, Home Mel Gavaya Balaramji, that that Lord who is fearless, that we should place our concentration and our dhyan upon that Lord who is fearless, and in so doing, we too will forget our fears as we adopt the quality of that fearless Lord, as we become closer to them. And in this way, a wonderful, beautiful thing starts to happen. Home mail, Govaya Balaramji, our home, our home, that disease of existence, that disease that we think that we are real and permanent in this world, that begins to fall away. And then Guru Maharaj explained, Nirmalapo Paya, Harugurungaya, that in this way, that fear eventually falls aside and becomes nirmalapau, pure fear. Or what is pure fear? We discovered together. Pure fear meaning that true love. That love that is not dependent or contingent upon something being done for you or for someone meeting your expectations, which is like many of the relationships that we have in this world. But that nirmalapau paya is that pure fear, that pure love, that pure fear for that one. And in this way, Harve Kheram Hadure Paramatma Vaheguru will become Paragat before you as you'll be able to have darshan upon them. And so Shubhavicharana was where Guru Maharaj brought us to yesterday. And today, we pick up the journey of that Jagyasu. Seems like an eternity ago that we first heard of that one who was sitting before Maharaj and begged Maharaj to tell him the path to realization. And now, we have reached that third stage of four. Sant Hari Singh Ji Randave Wale in Gurbani Arth Bandar explains that in this third stage of spiritual awakening, it is described as Tanumansa. Tanumansa meaning that stage of being when our sankalpa, our thoughts are becoming cleansed. Because as we recall, in that second stage, our f mind is attached to that Nirapal, that Lord which is completely fearless. And as we put our Tian on Maharaj, our actions have been governed by that source. And in this way, thinking of the consequences of our actions, our actions are cleaned up, essentially. We've started, we started to sort ourselves out, we can put it in colloquial terms in the manner of the way that we speak here in East London. We start to sort things out. And so because of this, if we sort our, our actions, what we use our hands to look at on our phone, we sort out our actions, we control our mind as to what we're going to open our eyes to on the screens and what we're going to say and do, then our thoughts will become cleaner as well. And in Tanu Mansa, we start to get a hold of this calm, growth, love, and more hankar. These thieves have been that have been robbing us. And my sister, my wonderful sister, Bibi Gurudvrit Gaur, did a wonderful katha on this in this divan only a few weeks ago, which you can find on the basics of Chiki, of basics of Sikhi YouTube channel. It's called Understanding Ego. Amazing vichar there. And so, in this third stage of spiritual awakening, Tanu Mansa. We become in control of our minds, we start to become in control of our minds because as we learned yesterday, Paramatma is now Veke Hadure, we can now see them standing in front of us and now we pick up the journey as we travel together through the understanding of this third stage. Hanji. In this third stage of spiritual awakening, this third of four stages that Guru Maharaj has explained to us that we should look to undertake during the course of this life as soul brides looking to meet our husband lords, as wives meeting with our husbands as they get married, looking to undertake this gristi jivan, how is it that we should then look to try and reach? What kind of state of mind should we try to reach? Guru Maharaj says something now, they say man chao, meaning that your mind is full of chao, full of happiness, and then they juxtapose that 
against Beragia. A Beragia, Berag means to be in a state in in a state of sadness, but hold on to that. Don't make that permanent in your mind. We're going to come back to that in just a second. Manachaopaya Beragya. How can we reconcile these two? How can we reconcile these two positions in this third stage of spiritual awakening? Guru Maharaj is saying Manachao that in your mind you're full of happiness, but you're also Beragya, you're in a state of sadness. Guru, in the external way we can see this from a wedding perspective, that in the morning the bride wakes. It's the day of her wedding. This planning has been undertaken, we know, since before time. But in the girl's house for many weeks, we can say, and nowadays, we're hearing about weddings being planned years ahead. So this is the day that she's un much planning has been undertaken for. And so in her mind, man chao, this is, this is the day for which all of these plans have come to fruition. Today is the day that all of these plans are going to come into fruition. I'm going to meet my husband. And so in this way, there is much happiness. But in that same day as the sun rises, as the sun sets, and the brat have come, the boy's family have come to take that girl from the same house from which much joy was at in the morning, as in the cultural aspect we hear of the, the games that are being played in the morning and, and, the, and the family is so excited about the wedding. In the evening, that same house, you can hear a pin drop in as that girl is walking down the stairs, leaving behind all that she has known. And so we can see how manchao, that there's that happiness, I'm starting this new life. But at the same time, Beragya, I am sad. This is the external understanding. But Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, let's go a little bit deeper. How is it really that we can put these two states of being next to each other and there not be any con inconsistency, that, that there can be no contradiction? Because Berag doesn't actually mean sadness, though elsewhere it is translated this way as such. Berag is actually something very beautiful, which I'm really, really excited to share with you today. Berag, be, it means to negate, and rag actually means love. So how people translate berag to sadness is they say without love. So berag, without love. But it's not entirely, that's, that's, only, half, that's only half the story. What berag traditionally means from the Sikh perspective is when you realize the falseness of this world, and you've fallen out of love with all of that that previously gripped you. You're no longer in the control of the spell of this world as you've realized that, yo, all of the things I've been chasing, really? All of the things in this world that are held to be so important, they really aren't. And so you become a beragi as you realize that this world is false and you fall out of love of this world as you feel truly in love, nirmalapal, which we only spoke about just yesterday, but it seems like decades ago as we've undertaken this journey together. Now we're in a state of berag. We've fallen out of love with the world because a truer love has started to form within us. Guru Maharaj explains this to us. Sachi Prita Ham Tum Syo Jori Tum Syo Jor Avar Sang Tori Meaning they're no longer important to me. It's no longer of any of it's no longer of any avail to me because I'm now with you. Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, this is what it means to be in Berag. It's the highest state of love. Beyond anything, to, to use the word sadness is really to misunderstand the point. It's just that that false thing that would only give you temporary happiness is no longer of any consequence to you. Because Sachi Prit Hamantumsyo Jodi, because you've now realized that yo. There's only one place for me to place my head. There's only one table that I want to sit at, and that is the house of my husband, Lord, my Guru Maharaj. Sare Akhoji Vahe Guru Vahe Guru Vahe Guru Vahe Guru Vahe Guru Sachi Prita Ham Tum Syo Jodi Guru Pyari Sad Ji, when we say this, it's one thing. When we vibrate upon this, it's another thing entirely. 
Imagine if we woke every morning and that was written upon our wall. We looked at that and said, yo, Sachi Preet, it's the true love that I'm looking for. Let me have that as my focus as I start my day. Be what am I going to look for in my interactions, in my transactions, in my daily commute. Be Sachi Preet, Hamad Tum Siodjoli, let's direct our mind. The speaker of the current time, who I who I have learned so much from, he's a an educator from the West, from the United States. His name is Tony Robbins, and he says something which is really quite captivating in its simplicity. You can miss it almost because it's so simple. He says you can only hit a target that you're aiming for, and in the simplicity of those words, we can often go, "Yeah, I understand that." Obviously, you go to a shooting range, you got to aim at the target. No. What he's saying is, what are we aiming for every day? What do we direct our minds to every single day? We wake up and we look at the clock and our aim is to get to work before nine. And if that's our aim, then that will be what we achieve. But if we wake up in the morning, Sachi, Preeta, Hamrutum, Siyo, Jori, then our aim should be during the course of this day to jod with that one. And in this way, Guru Maharaj gives us the way, what do they say to us? To become that Bairagi, they say, Tum Siyo, Jor, Avar Sangha Dori That you've got to then realize that there's going to be a bit of sacrifice Hanji Balaram Jiyo To become that Bairagya Balaram Jiyo You have to have that sacrifice Which is the second part of this couplet That Bhagavad Ravi Dasi gives to us Tum Siyo Jor Avar Sangha Dori What is it that we have to leave behind? Don't be afraid to leave behind those that your mind has told you that you must be joined to. Don't be afraid to leave behind those that your mind has told you for some reason to validate the mind that you must hold on to. And Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, this time that we have is so precious. Who is it that we could be spending time with but for the fact that we are committed to spending our time with someone else? What could we be doing, but for the fact that in our mind we've got this false assumption that we've got to be doing something else? Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, my father-in-law, I phone him sometimes, I say, look, why don't you come round? And in my mind, I'm thinking he's going to jump at the opportunity to come round. He goes, listen, I'm going to go to the Guru Kar. You won't catch him socialising because all of his time is dedicated Sachi Preet Ham Tum Siyo Jori by Harjab Singh. A great Gurmukh. And so this teaching has come to me through the current days. This is something that we can see in our living examples if we have the eyes to see. And it's quite humbling for me. I said, look, why don't you come around, we'll watch a movie, we'll just chill out. I said, you've retired. He said, no, 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 I'm more busy now than I've ever been. It's a state of mind. So who do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Because who you want to be is determined by where you want to be and that also is your choice. That also is our choice. Balaram Jiyo, let's be a sacrifice, let's dedicate ourselves to being a sacrifice. Guru Maharaj explained to us then, Harati Jirilav, in this third stage of spiritual awakening, Manachau, a true happiness starts to form within our mind because we become Bairagi, we become a Bairagiya, we become, we become one who is filled with Bairag and that's what a Bairagiya means. Because why you've fallen out of love with this world, this world no longer has a hold on you. Those claws are no longer in your back because you've turned it all around. And that calm guru, the lobe and that was beating you down, you're now standing up a little bit with the gyan of the guru, the bakshish of the guru. And now those that you were enslaved to, they now become your slaves. And in this way, Balaram Jiyo, we dedicate all of this progress to reaching this third lave to that one. That has merged us with Paramatma Vaheguru, our Sadhguru, Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj. Bal Ram Jiyo, Bal coming from Balihar, sacrifice. Ram, that one who is Ramiya Hoya. So in this way we are a sacrifice to that Lord. That has allowed us to become Bairagi Hanji. Sant Jana Har Mele. In this way, what do you want to do? Who is it that we have to give up? We have to give up those people whose company we know isn't positive for us and in this way Santa Jana Harmel all you really want to do is spend time in the Sad Sangat Santa Jana Harmel as a Bairagi you realize that yo any other conversation is of no avail Naam 
We've heard the Shabbat, but now it means perhaps something new to us. All of those conversations just don't mean what they did because you've got a higher purpose within your own living now. I remember going to boss camp uh, in, in many years ago when I was a monna. Before that, it was football, clubbing and martial arts. And I, w I went for that week to boss camp and I spent time in the Saad Sangat. I wasn't worthy to be there, I'm still not even to this day. But I remember after going to that camp, going back to my same friendship circle and the conversations were still football, clubbing and martial arts. And I remember thinking that this just doesn't do for me what it did because there's a higher state of consciousness that, I'd, that I had a glimpse of. I hadn't reached, I still haven't reached it. But in that place, you've seen a higher place and those same things just wasn't there. So to have that understanding of that what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis isn't going to give us that higher fulfillment, Santa Jana Haramel. So we're in the company of Gurmukhs, Hanji. In this way, as we come into the Saad Sangata, who do we meet? Who who does the Saad Sangata allow us to see? Santa Jana Haramel, Har Hanji Baba Ji. Har paaya vad paagiya. Santa Jana Harmel Har paaya vad paagiya. By great good fortune, Santa Jana Harmel, it doesn't just stop there, that journey continues. Santa Jana Harmel Har paaya. Through that Saad Sangat, the gateway, as we go deeper down the rabbit hole, we realize Har paaya, that the door to that Sat Khand is in the company of those Saad Sangats, in the Sat Sangis. Guru Pyari Sad Sangaji, there was a there is a great Mahapurk that walked upon this earth. There is, in the current tense, a great Mahapurk that walked upon this earth in the past tense. Sant Baba just one singji. And I had the great privilege of meeting them on many occasions. They were such a kind person to me when I had the chance to be in their company. I can truly say this that when we were in the company of those great saints, irrespective of who you might be and where you might be in your own jivan, you will understand the truth of what it means in this Pankati. Maharaj is saying, Santa Jana Har Mel Har Paya Vadapagya Balaramju because in the company of the Sad Sangat, there is such a feeling of Anand. There is such a feeling of bliss that you will know this to be true through your own experience. This is not a theory that we practice and that when death occurs, a gate gets pulled back and you can see if it was true or not. You can test this theory even in this day. When the great saints are here, make the effort to go and see them. And you will experience what it means to be in the company of great saints. Sant Hari Singh Ji Randave Wale, whom we often quote, from whom we've learned so much and whom, from whose company we've also experienced this feeling, is going to be coming to the UK this summer. Guru Pyari Sad Sangat Ji, let's have a little test for our own minds. Let's be in the company of these saints. I remember being in the company of Sant Baba Jaswan Singh Ji many, many years ago. And at this time, I was still learning to read Punjabi, still learning to speak Punjabi. I'm still learning to speak Punjabi by many accounts. And I would go and see Baba Ji. And I would see this great saint in control of so many charitable organizations, so many important people in the worldly sense would go and be falling at the feet of Baba Ji. And I would go and see Baba Jaswan Singh Ji with tears rolling down my eyes. I would approach them very cautiously, very carefully, and I would say to Baba Ji, Baba Ji, I know you've got all these people around you, but would you mind if I come and spend time with you and ask you questions? At that time, I don't even think probably I knew the names of the ten gurus. And with tears in my eyes, I looked to Baba Ji and I said, Baba Ji, Santa, in my mind I'm thinking, Santa Jana Har Mel Har Paya, I don't know who I'm seeing right now, now looking back I can see in the company of that great saint, there was this feeling within me. And Baba Ji would turn to me with such simple words, they would give me such a spell of love. They say, I like you, stick around. So this is the language of love. They say, I like you, you can stick around. And we would go back to see Baba Ji over and over again. Guru Pyari Sad Sankar Ji, we can come here and listen, or we can come here and make a goal that tomorrow we're going to seek out those saints. We're going to go seek out those great ones like Gyanikalwan Singh Ji, Apanesant Hari Singh Ji Randave Wale, these great Mahapurks whose only purpose are to help us to jod with that Paramatma Vaheguru, our husband, Lord, 
हां जी संत जना हर मेल हर पाया वड भागिया बल राम जियो गुरु महाराज एक्सप्लेन्स दिस टू अस दे से संत जना हर मेल दैट विल बी कमिंग टू द कंपनी ऑफ दोस ग्रेट सेंट्स संत जना हर मेल हर पाया विल गेट टू फाइंड गॉड हाउ कैन दिस बी how do we how is it that we can picture this in our minds well we haven't got to look any further than our second gift our great our our gift from the guru which is our itihas guru pyari sad sangat ji at the time of guru arjan dev ji at the time of guru arjan dev ji maharaj the sangat from kabul had we learned yesterday of the sangat from kabul coming by gonda ji we heard of by gonda ji who is that sangat from afghanistan who meditated upon the japji sahib and held on to the feet of by Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji Maharaj and in this way they held sway over the position of Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji Maharaj such that Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji all the way in Amritsar didn't move for many hours until 11:22 a.m. when Bai Gonda Ji would wake from their samadhi from Kabul at an earlier time now we visit the Kabul Sangat and we travel with them now on a different journey to understand what we mean by this pankti santa jana har mel har paya vad bagya balaram jiyo the sangat from kabul have been learning about guru arjan dev ji maharaj they've been learning about that fifth form of guru nanak for many many days many months many years have passed and now they much desire to have darshan of guru sahib they've never seen guru arjan dev ji before but those teachings have captured their heart so they unannounced without having told anybody their plans they set out from kabul to travel all the way from that place all the way to amritsar to have a have a glimpse of that guru that we come and see every day as they are on their way we are told in our history by sant gyani garbachan singh ji khalsa pindra wale that in that contingent in that group there are the elderly very elderly those who are quite elderly and the charaji jawani those who are young in their ripening youth who have much strength within their own being And as they're traveling this is a very difficult rocky journey to make. And as they're getting closer and closer they get about 55 kilometers from Amritsar and they get into difficulties. They don't know what to do because they're struggling there's too much stuff to carry. There's too much saman they've bought obviously gifts for Guru Sahib probably most likely. And so they're getting stuck now they don't know what to do. The elderly are struggling under the direction under the giving those directions and the youth they're also disorientated having not perhaps undertaken such a difficult journey and they're getting stuck. they get to 55 kilometers which is itself quite a difficult journey to undertake the heat is bearing down and they don't know what to do they stop at a place they stop at a place and a saint comes to meet them with their wife a great being comes to see them to alleviate their difficulties a great saint a great light comes forward and he says i'm going to take care of you sit let me give you water and that great saint with their great saintly wife they would pala them langar they would give them food they would give them water that great saint would massage the 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 hard bones of those elderly and the muscles of those charaji jawani those youth and give them the what they need so that they can be in a better place and as they go to sleep they are waving a fan over this sang satsangis that are traveling all this way those six who look who desire to have a darshan of the guru to have a glimpse of that guru as they all go to sleep in the early hours of that morning that great being and his wife they depart early and they wake fully fully refreshed feeling like they have the strength of 10 men having been served by this great being and they travel onwards and they get now to amritsar they can hardly contain themselves can you imagine such a journey having undertaken to go and have a darshan of your satguru for many years you've been thinking about this the plans have been made and now you're now outside the darbar of that great takht and you're looking upon this this pathway that's going to take you to that darbar where your guru arjan dev ji is sitting upon the takht they can hardly contain themselves and they take off their jore they pull their belongings down for obviously these things have always been kept in the jore kar and they say who's going to look after our saman maybe you guys should say we're not staying we want to go and have darshan of our guru and they start arguing amongst each other who's going to sacrifice and stay behind that others can go and whilst they're having this conversation up as vichy they're having this conversation that great saint comes forward again because I'll look after your jore I'll take care of your shoes and that great sister that great wife would come forward 
and together they would they would they would sambal they would take care of this the, of the belongings and they would go inside all of the sangha the garbal sangha would go in together and they go into this great takht and they see that place where guru arjan dev ji would sit barajman and on the takht they see to the side that great saint baba buddha ji that first granti from whom our gyani ji's herald their lineage but upon the takht they see only an empty space and their hearts have risen up so high and now they're like where is that guru arjan dev ji where is our guru and they turn to that one that would always join the sangat to the guru they turn to baba buddha ji that great brahm gyani they say, we've traveled all this way from where where is our guru arjan dev ji maharaj and baba buddha ji turns and they say he he left some time ago to come and meet the garbal sangat that were coming because we are the garbal sangat and that baba buddha ji the inner that great brahm gyani manne sagal bhavan ki so that that through their own cause had all the answers within them It, that which had already dawned within them started to dawn within the sangat as they run baba buddha ji runs out of the darbar they go straight to the jorekar and they start to cry tears as they see their beloved guru arjan dev ji maharaj and their wife in the jorekar cleaning the shoes of the sangat that was no great saint that was themself guru arjan dev ji that went to meet the sad sangat they was themself mata ganga ji and guru arjan dev ji that was meeting the sangat 55 kilometers outside amritsar there is a gurdwara still stands this day gurdwara pipli sahib you can go and have darshan there where the guru would go and malada sangat with the guru would go and say i will meet i will bring you the rest of the way to this journey you fallen into difficulties on my path it is not even your steps to take when we take a step upon the guru's that to wake when we take a step toward the guru by gurdas ji gives us teaching but in this context we in this context we open up our heart and we hear it and you be charan saran guru ek penda jaye chal sat guru kot penda aage hoye maharaj ji says to us by gurdas ji explains to us that if we take one step towards the guru that if we just leave afghanistan in our minds we have that shubh ichha we do shubh vichar and we plan that journey we make that step we take one step towards the guru and we get into the difficulties is we're no longer in our own path now we're out of manmat beragya balaram ji we've given up the ways of this world we want to join with you we've now walking upon the guru's path it's no longer our responsibility and the guru is there baba buddha ji is crying his eyes out is maharaj i can't bear to see you down in the dust you are our sat guru maharaj please i beg you please put these shoes down guru arjan dev ji maharaj what teaching would they give us they turn to baba buddha ji they were in that state of birag and they say oh baba buddha you are the one that had darshan of guru nanak dev ji maharaj baba buddha ji had served from the time of guru nanak dev ji in fact guru nanak dev ji was the one that gave them the name buddha wise one they said you are the one that had darshan of guru nanak dev ji maharaj please tell me whose shoes are these in my hand and baba buddha ji would look at the shoes that guru arjan dev ji held and lo and behold he would recognize them that they were none other in the shoes of deva palavid guru nanak guru pyari sat sangat ji sant jana har mel har paya har paya sant jana har mel if you have a chance have a chance to be in the company of the sangat who do you really think you are standing in the company of who do we really think we are standing in the company of if per chance you should be in the langar hall and the sangat should walk in and say i'm hungry jump at the opportunity to serve Who's pandey do you think that you're washing great saints would say you're not washing the dirt of any pandey this is the house of guru nanak these are the pandey of guru nanak and if we would have an adoption of that within our mind what gratitude would be born forth every chance we were in the kitchen what gratitude would operate from within us before we could get taken by that ego I've done so much seva what gratitude would be born forth what gratitude would be born forth if we had that understanding bias guru nanak dev ji this seva we're blessed to have a chance to serve in the house of the guru santa jana har mel har paya in this way this sakhi maharaj is giving us a teaching santa jana har mel that if you come in the company of the sangat and you travel together from afghanistan to amritsar har paya you don't know who you're going to meet along the way i remember being in being in punjab when the panch singh would come together they would pass the gurmukh sahib they would stop they would stand straight and they would turn 
and they would say Fatah, and people would say, do you know them? They go, no. <laughs> and, and then the presumption is, from the Western understanding, well, if you don't know them, why are you behaving in such a way? Because you don't know who those Pansinga are. We know that they represent the Guru. We know that the Guru has imbued them with that form. So why would it be a stretch for us to think that that is in fact the Guru themselves? And in this way, Hanji Balaram. Balaram Ji Yo. Guru Maharaj is giving us another teaching. Balaram Ji Yo. Guru Maharaj is giving us a, the teaching that they are themselves a sacrifice to those saints. They and the Jorek are cleaning the shoes of those saints. They are Balihar. They are the ones that the Guru is a sacrifice to. Janake Charan Vase Mera Hire Sangha Panita Dehi Janaki Tura Deho Kirpa Nida Nanaka Ke Sukha Ehi. It's like this Pankati was given to us for this Itihas. This perfectly encapsulates what teaching Guru Arjan Devji is given. Janake Charan Vase Mera Hire. The Guru is saying, that if I could take that jhana, that servant, that jhana, if I could take their feet, and I could install that in my heart, Guru Maharaj is saying to us, that my whole body would blossom forth. Oh, in this way, Guru Maharaj is saying to us, Oh, Janki Tura, I just want the dust of those saints, of those feet. Janki Tura Deho Kirpane, the old treasure of mercy, our great Lord, that one that arranges our affairs that takes us through these stages of spiritual enlightenment Janaki Tura Deho Kirpa Nidha Nanaka Ke Sukha Ehi Be give us this one Sukh Vah Sare Japo Ji Vahe Guru 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 Santa Jana Harmel Harapaya Vadabhagya Balaram Jiyo Guru Maharaj is explained to us Santa Jana Harmel that if the Sangat come together if you should be lucky enough to meet the Sangat Harapaya through the Sangat you can meet Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj through the Sangat you might be in the company of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj already Balaram Ji will be a sacrifice to those who bless you to allow you to be in their company if they walk the path of the Guru Hanji Nirmal Harapaya Hare Gona Gaya Maharaj is explaining to us now Nirmal Harapaya that the Sangat now the Sekh now in this third stage the Soul Bride now on this discovery on this romantic journey of realizing that husband Lord be Nirmal Harapaya that in this way they've realized that Lord which seems ever invisible ever elusive Nirmal Harapaya, that pure being, that pure Lord, Harapaya, you realize that actually you're already in their company and that they're, they're around you all the time anyway. Nanaka Hargungai Alak Prabha Lakhiya. Maharaj explains to us Nanaka Hargungai. Guru Maharaj explains to us that Hargungai, when you recite the name of God, Hargungai, Gaya means to, to sing the praises of. Alak, that one that is invisible, Prabhalakhiya, they become a present within you. Maharaj explained to us, Nirmal Harapaya, that you've now found that Nirmal Lord, that pure Lord, Hargungaya, now that Naam starts to recite from within you, it's almost without any control. Nirmal Harapaya, Hargungaya, Hanji. Mukha Boli Harbani. And everything starts to change. The way that you behave now, is coming from a place of true love. Mukaboli Harabani, the way that you speak from your mouth, your boli has completely changed. Why? Because now you speak in the way of the Guru. Mukaboli Harabani, because for a Gurmukh, Gurmukh Bani Naam hai, Naam Ride Vasai. Maharaj explains to us, be Gurmukh Bani Naam hai, that the way that we should live is an understanding that the Guru's Bani 
For a gurmukh is the way that we should speak. Ride naam of asai. Instill that within your heart. Make that the way that we talk to each other. Maharaj explained to us, Nirmala, har paya, har gungaya, muk boli, har bani. The way that we speak, the w- things that we say change. I'm going to give a really poignant example of this. Because in the company of gurmukhs, right, you just never know when these teachings are going to be born forth. I was with one of, I was with one of the, my older brothers. And we were going to Excel. We were going to the London Excel. We were going for some sort of a conference or a lecture or something. And uh, as we were parking in the Docklands car park, which is a hu- the Excel car park, so it's a huge car park. It's like half a mile wide. It's just a different level of car park, yeah? And as we're parking to go, this Gurmukh who's with me, this man in the car reverses their car and comes into the back of our car and cracks into his car. He hasn't got a very nice car, but still, damage is caused to his car. We both, both of our necks hit the back of the, hit the headrest as we're parking the car. And his car runs into the back of the car and he gets out of the car, the, the guy comes up and goes, I'm really, really sorry. Now, I've seen this instance, obviously, my profession particularly, I see a lot of this sort of dispute. People come and see me and they, they start, almost like a war begins now. We're trying to dig a trench. It was your fault, your fault. Everyone gets their cameras out. You'll have all seen it on the M4 the M25, how it all kicks off and you can see these arguments taking place. It's like people are at war. And so the guy gets out of the car, he goes, I'm really sorry, I've hit your car. It's totally at fault. I don't want to fight with you. I'm sorry, I'm going to just surrender because he's been beaten down by his experience in the world that now he knows that someone's going to come for him. So there's no point in arguing. He goes, look, I'm stuck here now. So rather than getting into an argument with uh, the Singh that I was with, he goes, look, I'm really sorry. Look, take my details. Don't think I'm going to dispute this. Just don't get aggressive with me. I'm really sorry. And he, and he lays this down. And he starts to write his details down on a, on a piece of paper. And the thing I'm with, I'm just listening, just thinking any second now it's going to get legal, legal and ask me some questions. Because of this process, we've been taught by our minds that when something like this happens, this is what you've got to do. You've got to take photos. You've got to get them to write and admit. And it's got to become this little confrontation, which you have to win so that you can go to your insurance company and beg them not to put your premiums up. So as he's talking, the thing I'm with, he's a little bit older than me, a little bit wiser than me, he starts talking, he goes, what are you here for? That's the way he speaks. He says, what are you here for today? And he says, I was here for, um, we were here for an exhibition with our family. There's a family exhibition. We were going to go and we were going to go and like buy stuff for our house and make our house nice. And as he's transpiring, he's going here for a different conference. And as the conversation transpires, he goes, look, my missus is in the car with the kids. We're not going anywhere. We've gone, I've gone back to the car. We've had such an argument because she's so upset with me that I've hit your car that we've decided we're going to just go home now. We're, gonna, we're not going to go to this exhibition. We're going to just go home and um, we're going to just come another day because we're just so upset. It's not your fault. We're really, really sorry. And he carries on writing. And the thing that I'm with, he goes, look, I want to make a deal with you. He goes, what? He goes, I want to forget. We're going to forget this accident ever happened. Forget the accident. It'll cost me a few hundred quid. It'll cost me maybe three, four hundred pounds to fix the car. I've got a friend of mine. He looks at me because I'm the guy that fixes all the problems. He goes, he'll fix, he'll fix my car for me. He goes, but on one condition. He goes, what's that? He goes, you have to also forget it never happened. If I forget it never happened, I want you to forget it never happened. I want you to go into the Excel and you've got to have a great day. I can't have it on my conscience that your day was spoiled. And I, and I can have it on my conscience that, that we can say that your day was saved. The guy looked at him because he's in a seat. He goes, what are you talking about? Because you can sue me. You can make a 1,500-pound whiplash claim. Don't ask me why I know these limits. Because you can, you can do this. You can get your car repaired. You know, you're, you're in the money now. There's cameras here. He goes, look, I know all that. He goes, but I just want to make, in my mind, the greatest thing is to, the greatest sweetness is to know that your day has not been ruined. Guru Pyari Satsangati, I learned a great lesson that day, that we don't have to do that which is instructed upon us by the ways of the world. Just because this riti has been married out for us, we all walk the same path every single time, doesn't mean that perchance we should end up in that same channel that we have to go with everybody else. It's for us, the whole point of the Khalsa is to remain, to, to remain niyara, to remain independent, to remain sutantar. Not patantar, dependent, but sutantar. The Khalsa can look at the situation, step back, analyze and say, what is the just thing to do right now? I'm not saying that we can never go forward with an accident claim if we get in an accident. But in that particular incident, the day I think to do, the, the compassionate thing to do was to give that situation a little bit of compassion. 
निर्मल हर पाया हर गुण गाया मुख बोली हर वाणी सो हिज बोली इन दैट सिचुएशन टुक आउट ऑल ऑफ द एंगर टुक आउट ऑल ऑफ द फ्रस्ट्रेशन दैट दैट गाय लेफ्ट फीलिंग बेटर देन बिफोर द एक्सीडेंट हैपेंड हाउ इज इट दे कैन हैव एन एक्सीडेंट बट मी अ गुड मुख एंड हिज सिचुएशन इंप्रूव हाउ कैन यू बी इन्वॉल्व इन एन एक्सीडेंट एंड यू लीव दैट प्लेस लाइक एंड यू फील लाइक यू वॉन द लॉटरी एंड यू हैडेंट वॉन इट बिफोर Guru Pyari Sadh Sangh Ji, because when you meet the Guru Mukh, that's how it should be. That's standard. That's not an exception. That's not. That's not something special. When you come in the company of the Sangat, Santa Jana Har Mel Har Paya, you're supposed to leave. You, you know it, that if you have connected, that you have met God. And I believe that probably in some way, the way that he left feeling, probably he did feel that there was some sort of a spiritual connection there. Guru Pyari Sadh Sangh Ji, it's up to us every day. Muk Boli Har Bani. Are we going to allow the Guru's teachings to percolate through us and influence the way that we speak, not just at home, but in every aspect of our world? Because what we do is we compartmentalize the Guru's teachings such that we act this way in the Guru Kar. We touched upon this yesterday, but why shouldn't we be informed? by the guru's teachings mukaboli harbani and have that sweetness in our speech when we meet others that we can become the guru ka right then for someone in need guru pyari sat sang ji had an intended to talk about this but when those when those 700 women were kidnapped under the auspices of the mogul empire and they were being transported back at the time of baba deep singh ji maharaj they weren't related they were of a different religion from a different part of the world but baba deep singh ji in their mind mukaboli harbani they were completely consumed by the guru's teachings that boli of the guru that mukhi guru that voice was emanating within their mind there was no choice but to draw swords to clash iron and to free those 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 women that they should be able to be free guru pyari sadh sang ji were not at war in the physical sense but it is a war every day to make sure that our actions are informed by the guru's teachings and in this way we can say mukaboli harbani is our battle and the more we see it as a battle and we we give it we elevate it to that surma status that warrior status then you realize that you really are a warrior if you can control your tongue worry isn't that one that can smash we're we're not in a place where that's necessary right now what we need is more compassion and more kindness with the way that we speak that we can be worthy of representing the guru's teachings through our own behavior this is what it means to be a surma in fact guru arjan dev ji says this they say ja ko har rang lago is yug mein so kahiyat hai sura that we can say that one is a true warrior so kahiyat hai sura is a true surma be hari dana one who is in completely in love har rang lago who is in love with the name of god So that example to me was an example to me that we shouldn't just be thinking about God in a certain way sometimes that if we can make someone's day through a small act of kindness at the Excel car park at the scene of an accident why not I think that forever he will probably remember that thing who I was with and in this way his opinion of things will change and his opinion of the way he should behave will change maybe he will pay that forward in a situation where someone's in desperate need and he's been taught to take advantage maybe he won't and this is what the point of the khalsa is to bring that light through the example of the guru that others can look at that example and set up their own hanji sant jana vad bhagi paya har kathiya akath kahani we need to understand that when we are lucky enough to be in the company of the sangat of vad bhagi paya it is by great good fortune it is by the blessings of the guru it is by our preordained destiny as we're about to learn so let's not look at, a, at anything less than a bakshish and a blessing i say it before and again i construct my own mind that if we are ever so lucky to walk into the guru's darbar before we lay out our long list of requests and supplications let us start by just taking a deep breath and saying thank you for to be here and for the bhagi is by great good fortune guru arjan dev ji explains this to us as a पाग हुआ गुर संत मलाया बाय ग्रेट गुड फॉर्चून पाग हुआ व्हेन आई से ग्रेट गुड फॉर्चून आई डोंट मीन यू आर लकी लाइक विनिंग द लॉटरी पाग इज समथिंग कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट पाग मींस कंप्लीटली द मोस्ट अमेजिंग लक दैट वी हैव हैड 
the, luck, the like, likes of which we could never even imagine. Paag hua, Guru Sant Malaya. By such great good fortune, we've met the Guru and we've met the Sad Sangat. To be here, we could be anywhere right now. And the actions which we may have previously taken might have taken us to a place where we may have never been here again. We just don't know. It's only as we sit here right now, we can think, be, am I even, am I, how lucky am I to be here? Guru Pyari Sad Sangat Ji, if the mind should ever give you, the, if the mind should ever be kind enough to put the forna forward, to put the, the suggestion forward, be apa gordara chaliye. You don't argue with your mind, be apa kalu jamange. Just take the opportunity right there and then to come forward because life will take you to many places. But because why is it such great good fortune to come here? In this house, what will happen? Not only will you meet the Sadhsangat, not only have you been afforded the blessings of the Guru. But something so beautiful will happen. Be prab abnasi karme paya. You'll get to have that realization. Be paramatma wahiguru actually has made their home within your own being. You get to leave with the greatest party bag of all, the greatest gift of all, which is that gyan that you can take with you. That is the whole purpose of coming here. That we don't leave as we came in, but we leave informed. We leave different. We leave with the knowledge that yo within me. Resides that light be, because the Guru is saying it to us here. Be prab abnasi kar me paya kar within me meh within me paya that Paramatma Vai Guru exists within me. Hanji. Hirde hare 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 tun upji. Hirde within your heart hare 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 tun upji within you born forth now is that name of God. For nothing else is going to give you that sweetness. Nothing else is going to become even close. To fulfilling the desires of where you now come from, because you've fallen, as we remember, as a beragi, out of love with the world, totally in love with God. Now you're just saying, "I'm just with you." I'm sachi prit hamat tum se jori. In this way, now you're saying, "I'm just only for you." And in this way, in this way, within you now, the name of God is blossoming forth, Hanji. Har jappiya mastak paag jiyo. Maharaj is explaining to us, Har jappiya mastak paag jiyo. Within your mastak, mastak means your forehead. Paag, that great good fortune is written upon your forehead. And by the blessings of your previous actions, and by the blessings of your karam, you now are able to sit here. And recite the name of God, Hanji. Jan naan ke bole ti ji lava, har upja man barag jio. Maharaj is explaining to us now, Jan naan ke bole ti ji lava, that in this third stage now, we have become a beragi. We have now become of that highest, that one of that highest state of being. We've fallen completely out of the clutches of Maya. In Tanu Mansa, in this third stage of spiritual awakening, we've fallen out of the clutches of Maya. The world is of no avail to us, and we had that true love beginning to develop within. Just to repeat the functional point that we can make progress from today, Santa Maskeen explains to us that if you want to adopt something, you have to sacrifice something too. If you want to adopt something within your own being, you have to sacrifice something too. Guru Pyari Sad Sangat Ji, what is it that we're going to drop from our lives? What poison is it that we are currently consuming that we're going to let go? What is it that we're going to pour out of our cup that allows it to be empty for the Guru to fill our cup? Guru Pyari Sad Sangat Ji, whatever that might be, I'm so excited as we now learn in this third stage of spiritual awakening that we fall out of love with the world and we begin to come totally into the sanctuary of the Guru. We must have made many mistakes as we spoke now of the third stage in spiritual awakening, Dhanu Mansa. And tomorrow, with Guru Ram Dasi's bakshish, their blessings, we're going to learn about that fourth stage in spiritual awakening. Once again, we ask for your forgiveness and your blessings. Deho Sajana Sisariya, Johove Sahib Siyomir, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh.